Hi, I'm Tassin Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and training here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make a cleansing exfoliating balm. Let's get into it. Okay, so here I have my lipid face. I've chosen to go with some Emo Smart L19. This has got a bit of a medium skin feel because um, I don't want my cleansing balm to be too dry. Um, to this, I'm going to add a bit of jojoba oil. This is a nice balancing oil for the skin. So perfect for dry and oily skin. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of mango butter just to give it an even more of a nice skin feel. Next, I'm going to add my waxes and emulsifier. So I'm going to add a bit of beeswax here. So this is going to give it a nice soft viscosity. <laughs> Uh, next, I've got some glycerol stearate. This is a low HLB emulsifier. And I'm also going to add a little bit of polysorbate 20. Okay, then we're going to pop it on heat for a little bit. Now, once that's all melted and come together, we're just going to keep stirring until it cools. Now, this won't set straight away, so we're just going to keep stirring to cool and then we're going to add our heat sensitive materials in there and then we're going to cover it and leave it overnight to set. So full viscosity will be achieved the next day. Okay, so next I'm gonna add my heat sensitive materials. So I've chosen to go with a couple of extracts for my story. So I'm going to add some aloe vera extract as this is really good at moisturizing and hydrating the skin. I'm gonna add some bilberry. This does the same, it locks in moisture. Beautiful red color. I'm also gonna add a bit of tocopherol. And to that I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of fragrance just to make it smell nice. Uh, but not too much because you don't want it to be irritating. So give that a stir. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna add my exfoliator. This is a bamboo exfoliator. Now you don't wanna use a particle size, probably more than 100 for the face. Um, so I'm gonna add this in here. And give that a stir. Make sure you give it a good stir to make sure all the particles even out. And like I said earlier, um, full viscosity is gonna be achieved till the next day. So we're gonna cover this and let it sit overnight. Here is my exfoliating balm the next day. As you can see, it has thickened quite a bit. A very nice viscous consistency and really emollient. Uh, you probably can't see the particles, but it's, it's exfoliating, but not too harsh because you don't want it to be too harsh on your skin. Now, the good thing about exfoliating balms is that they actually remove excess oil from the skin and they're really good at taking off makeup um, the oil helps to lift the extra oil and the makeup from the skin and then obviously the exfoliating part is going to help with removing those dry dead skin cells so really good product here and that's how easy it is to make a cleansing exfoliating balm if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.